Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Wilbur. Welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited today to have Brendan Pugh from Writing Quest on uh, to do a little chat. Hey, welcome. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Amazing. So I think it would be cool to start out just by hearing uh, about the beginning of your channel um, and sort of how you got started and then how it evolved to what it is now. Yeah, so um, I started it with my brother Aiden and he, uh, we... Just we thought it'd be we were wanting to start a channel. We've been talking about it for a long time, and we'd both been getting into writing. Um, and I have had a story that I've been writing for a long time, and so we thought I'd had an idea for a novel in that world. And I thought, hey, why don't we kind of co-write this book together and then do a YouTube channel about that? Um, and it's a fantasy story so we went kind of the fantasy route with the channel so it's writing quest you know like you're on a quest um and we did that for a while uh about a whole year or so and then uh it basically just got really hard for us to record and find time to do it we both have families and kids and you know and so mm -hmm. we ended up actually splitting so he does author quest okay. and so we kind of Figured that was a way we could still kind of do the YouTube thing together, but separately, and we could both kind of do our own thing. So, so I'm on my own. I'm still writing the same book. Um, I'm still writing the same series I've been writing forever, and that's kind of how it happened. So I'm about two. I'm two and a half. I think we started in February, so like three years would be February. Yeah. And so, but it it's kind of a long slog here on YouTube. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but it's been fun. I've had a lot of fun. That's awesome. So you write fantasy, obviously. Am I right that it's like a 13-book epic kind of series? Could you kind of tell us about it? Yeah. So it's getting a little ridiculous. But um, so it actually started, uh, I probably started writing it over 10 years ago, like a long time. Oh, yeah. um, I was working in a factory making coffee pots of all things. And um, I know this is a crazy story. So I'm sitting there all day. I'd never written anything before, but I'm sitting there all day just doing this kind of mindless, mm -hmm. nothing activity, you know. And um, I just started having this idea happen. You know, my I'm not really using my brain while I'm working. So I started generating an idea. And so back then I knew I knew nothing. I'd never written anything like barely passed essays in school. Like I just, I didn't even like it really. I, I was a musician as I am a musician, but that's what I was pursuing mostly then. Um, so yeah, so just kind of that happened. And then it just, it started out as a trilogy and now uh, it just kind of kept expanding and expanding. And so actually the first book that I wrote that I actually completed the first draft for that's actually book seven now in the series. <laughs> so oh it ended up being in the middle. Um, awesome. So yeah, it just kept expanding. and uh, But I'm pretty excited about it. And actually, uh, the other day, I started having an idea of like something that could happen later. Yeah. But then I thought, no, this feels like the right you know, amount of story. Like, because before when I, I originally had a trilogy and I thought, like it just, I kept thinking like, oh, there's more story I could tell here. There's more yeah. stuff going on. And, but now it feels like it's hit like a natural, this is the story from beginning to end kind of a thing. So. Definitely. Yeah. So it's, it's gotten a little out of hand <laughs> for sure. <laughs> That's super cool. Oh, I have so many questions. Okay. Just the first one I have to know is what kind of musician, what kind of music do you play instrument or, or oh, voice? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm not a singer. Uh, I, I can sing pitches, but I'm not a singer. Um, yeah. I primarily play bass guitar. I was, uh, uh, my major in college was jazz bass performance. So, which is not usable in any sort of market as a college degree. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so bass guitar, I played drums, uh, piano guitar, um, all through high school, junior high, I played, uh, brass, like tuba, trombone, baritone, all that stuff. So a lot of things, mostly bass guitar and drums. It's my favorite. That's super cool. And I did oh. a lot of, I, I did a lot of, uh, 
in high school, I was in a lot of like punk rock bands and, you know, grew up on Blink-182 and all that. That was my, my jam. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did, um, I played piano and sang in lots of choirs, very much a choir girl. So I love hearing about people's music stuff because they're a huge part of high school and uni yeah. for me too. Well, and I, part of it, 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 it does play into writing. I mean, think, I think anything mm-hmm. you do creative just helps you be more creative in any other aspect, really. So Absolutely. definitely glad I have that background for sure. Yeah, definitely. And do you see anything synergistically particularly? Like, or just kind of overall with being creative? Um, actually, one thing that I've probably noticed is the ability to see structures well. Like, so hey, how, really? um, you know, songs flow. They have courses and pre-chorus and verse and all that kind of thing. And even yeah. in classical music, you see a lot of that stuff in jazz. Um, so like looking at a story structure, like if you just look at like the three X story structure, like that made a lot of sense to me when I was first mm-hmm. getting into writing and was like, Oh, okay. Breaking down each part and doing, you know, so that's probably where I see it the most. Um, but then also like, I mean, even just like picking the kind of music that I like to write to. Yeah. Um, like I know I'm like, no, nah, I need something more like this to fit what I'm kind of wanting to go for. Cool. So like, so using the music to kind of like set the mood of the scene or that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do that too. I I actually have a video coming out about that uh, Monday, I think. So just like my favorite music that I like to listen to when I write. Oh, amazing. Okay. Yeah. My friend, uh, Meredith Phillips, she did a video like that. It was one of her very first videos, literally like three years ago. And I still go and look at her recommendations for things mm-hmm. to write too. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you'd never written before. It was about 10 years ago. You come up with this story while you're working in the factory. You sit down. You've never written before. How did you start? Like, how did you go about teaching yourself how to do it? Yeah. Um, well, so when I first, I mean, I just like opened a Word document. And so I guess for what happened at first, I mean, I I really came up with a lot of ideas. So I had like a... This is before I even had like an iPhone. Like I just had an iPod Touch is what I had. <laughs> and I had the notes app on that. And this is going to just make me sound super old. Um, but I, so I just kind of made notes. So my original idea was like, you know, basically what if you crossed like Avatar The Last Airbender with Dragon Riders and like Lord of the Rings and like smush that all together. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I just came up with a lot of story ideas, a lot of story ideas and like, when I finally sat down to write, though, mm-hmm. um, I'd kind of had this idea for a scene in my head. And mm-hmm. so I'd spent a long time just thinking through that. And then I just kind of went for it. Um, and my wife, who uh, she's very creative, too. She's a dancer. She owns a dance studio now. But she's, mm-hmm. you know, so we're both creative. And I gave it to her and she was basically like, this is terrible. Like, I just, <laughs> you know, in a very yeah. nice way, of course. But because, um, yeah. you know, I didn't. And so I just kept doing it. I just kept yeah. trying and kept trying. And then uh, my younger brother, Aiden, who I started channel with, he mm-hmm. was always been kind of into writing. And so I started kind of sharing it with him. And then I started buying like I probably have every like Writer's Digest book. Yeah, that they've ever put out. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I started reading stuff, and then um, I had a couple friends who wrote, so I would ask them and send them some things, and I just slowly kept, you know. And then my brother, I was talking to him the other day, and he just finally said to me after like ten years of doing this, he's like, "You know, your prose is really starting to improve." <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, thank you. After ten years of this, I'm I'm glad I'm starting to improve. That's good. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it sounds like, and this is awesome. You were able to get lots of feedback really early on. That's yeah. something that in my writing, I like definitely kind of like went into a box for a long time. I was like, I'm not showing this to anyone ever. And then when I started getting feedback on it, it helped me improve so much better. Um, and mm-hmm. I think so. Can you talk a little bit more about just like getting that kind of feedback and if you if you formalized it or going with friends? Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Again, I think this is something that uh, crosses over with music. Um, I think if you do anything creative, you have to learn to take that criticism pretty quick. 
um, <laughs> because you're going to have all sorts of people like whether it's teachers or peers or, you know, telling you things. And so I wasn't um, I mean, when you start anything new, I had a little bit of nerves about like, I, I've never done this before. So like, it's hard to share that. Yeah. Um, but again, credit to my wife. Um, you know, she we've always been really great about like, because sometimes when if you're in a relationship and you start something new, sometimes it's easy to be like, okay, yeah, like, we'll see if you <laughs> actually do that, you know. Um, yeah. But she's really always been good about like, you know, yeah, let's check it out. Like, let's we, you know, just supporting each other that way. So, um, so it was a l kind of hard to start asking for that because I'd never done it before, but I'd had experience and I was kind of used to getting some kind of criticism. And so that made it easier. Um, it was definitely harder to reach out to people like that were acquaintances or for, like yeah. people that I don't really know, like, you know, but you don't know really well. Obviously, I know my yeah. wife really well, but you don't know, you know. Uh, so my brother, it was a little easier to reach out to him. But then when I started reaching out to some people that were more experienced writers who I knew I could trust their info, mm -hmm. that was a little more, I kind of felt like I had to be a lot more polished before I, yeah. you know, potentially wasted their time by asking them, you know, to help me out. Absolutely. Yeah. But I bet that was really good feedback, so. Yeah, yeah. I think I've never really heard anything that like, I mean, people are, it's, people are always willing to help, I feel like, even if they don't know, like, most, most people too, if, if they're not writers per se, mm -hmm. I mean, they know what like a good and bad movie is. So yeah. you can still ask them, like, what do you think about this story idea? And for the most part, they'll have some kind of awesome. insight. For sure. So I'm super curious. You were saying, you know, you wrote the the fir this first book, and then you've decided now that it's kind of like the middle, the the middle book of your your series. And I'm just interested in like if you can talk at all about how you kind of evolved to that point. Like, what part in the process did you realize um, what the story, how big the story really was? Yeah. Um, let me think. So started as a trilogy, and I think I just was because it's a fantasy world, I ended up like, I got a, I was writing and writing. And then I was like, I don't know enough about this world. You know, I yeah. kind of like hit a wall with the writing. And so I was like, I just kind of dove into the backstory and the history and like all the different cultures and parts and pieces of it. And then as I did that, I just started being like, well, this is pretty cool too. Like this could become yeah. its own thing, you know? kind of like a, you know, George Lucas Star Wars where it, you know, he made four or five, six, and then he jumped back and did the other ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, just kind of kept like, I kept finding another starting point. And so it's kind of um, the way I have it outlined and designed right now is um, the first six books are kind of like era one, you know, it's kind of like the past. And then there's the next six, which are the next timeline yeah. and then the 13th book is hopefully going to be the thing that wraps it all up and ties it all together and stuff but yeah that's pretty much i just kept diving into the um the backstory of it and then because i had the trilogy so there's ones that happen after too yeah. um and that was mostly like i as i was creating characters and writing that story mm -hmm. i thought oh this character could actually go on and you know have another bunch of story and so it just kind of kept it's like the goalpost just kept moving yeah. and I was like okay we'll just follow it I guess and then we yeah. and then it, I found it so yeah how many of them have you written so I have one full draft written which is mm -hmm. terrible <laughs> as you can imagine um mm -hmm. it's not as bad as I make it sound to be but you know you're always hard to sun yourself but uh Close. And then everything else is kind of like in parts and pieces. So the one thing that's really cool about doing a series. So one thing that's really important to me with mm -hmm. the series is that it's very well interconnected and thought out. Mm -hmm. um, so like I, I don't want, I want things in book one to matter by the time you get to the end. So really like thinking through all the parts and pieces, um, 
And so what's also cool about that is some of it I'm just writing all at the same time. So like if mm -hmm. I'm writing in the first book, which is the one that's the biggest, you know, I'm furthest along in that one. Yep. Sometimes I just have an idea for like, oh, this works for this book in like book four or five. Mm -hmm. So I've, I'll jump over and I'll write that scene out just so I have it down basically. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of like writing it all at once, which is kind of <laughs> interesting, <laughs> which probably that's makes me cool. Yeah. Um, but the outlining, uh, that, so that's where, when I first started, i I didn't know what I was doing. Of course. Um, I've definitely become an outliner, like yeah. just cause I, cause I want it to be connected and I want to be thought out. And so, yeah. Nice. So as a segue, a bunch yeah. of your content is in Notion and you have mm -hmm. those like Notion templates and all that kind of stuff. So I'm guessing you use Notion for organizing this crazy epic. Yes. <laughs> I would love to hear about that and like when you decided to get on there and how you kind of organize it. Yeah. So, well, so that's part of the, for the, I have three templates. They're all kind of like, um, you know, big, little, small or big, medium, small as what I think of them as. But I developed my latest one because of how big this had gotten. Um, yeah. And I had like stuff in Scrivener and I had other documents and I had notebooks and it was just like yeah. everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so I basically this, I had been using Notion for some other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'd just been like task management and, you know, normal things. And then I just, as I had this mess of story stuff going on, I thought, I know, you know, all these temp, you see all these notion templates for all sorts of these different things. And I just thought, man, you could, you could probably use this for something with writing. I will say I don't, my one template does have a writing feature in it where you can actually write the manuscript in the template. Mm -hmm. But I will say the caveat to that is like notions really not a writing it's yeah. not like a long form writing tool. So it's kind of a, I put it in there, but it's not necessarily meant for that. But what it is great for is I basically have all my stuff in Notion now. So I, um, I built it kind of like a workflow. So you start off with um, brainstorming, outlining, and then world building. And it can basically take you all the way through just starting from like writing a little synopsis of your story. Like this is just yeah. the little, you know, if it's on the dust jacket kind of thing, yeah. all the way to it's fully outlined down to the chapter and the scenes and all that. So I basically built it and got into notion because I, I couldn't, I couldn't contain it all. I couldn't manage all the details of it. Yeah. Oh, that's super cool. I use notion too, but I have a feeling I'm not nearly as organized um, as you are, it just ends up being so many different pages. So I have to, I do want to like use it. I'm not using it poorly. It's good, but I want to keep mm -hmm. using it better. So I have looked at your, I think I've tried to look at the templates before. I'm definitely yeah. going to, well, I'll, I'll send you one so you can okay. use it. Cause I would also like, yeah, I, I think it actually works really well. And okay. so I think a lot of writers could would actually really benefit from it because yeah. it's just the workflow thing for me at least works really well. So yeah. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are because sometimes when you build something like that, it's kind of like, I think it works. Yeah. But it's like, if I let other people use it, it's like, do you think it works? <laughs> like, yeah. does this work for you? You know, totally. But yeah. I definitely love your thoughts on it. So. Oh my God. I would love to, especially I told you I'm starting this new thing and I'm kind of like, Ooh, it's been a really long time like two years since I started a new story. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, Oh, what do I do? What do I do? So yeah, that would be perfect timing. I would love to. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I built it to around the three act story structure. Yeah. Um, just because when I was first building it, I was like, I don't really know how to do this without forming it around a story structure, mm -hmm. but I do have some different ways now where you can modify it. So like if you don't want to yeah. use a story structure or if you have, you know, some people like save the cat or whatever, yeah. you know, the Dan, cool. the story circle, Dan Harmon's story circle is a big one. People Honestly, like, I think we've tried all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and for different stories, it, sometimes they give you different insights. 
Yeah. 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 So, um, but I have a lot of videos on my channel about it, like a lot, so many. I've got more coming actually. And so, if anyone is looking at it, there's plenty of resources. And I can always be emailed. So, super cool. Yeah. And then, just sort of my last question here is um, what kind of does the future look like? Like your goals for your series, for your channel, uh, what you have got coming up? And Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I. I definitely am thinking I want to go the self-published route because I just, I like having the creative control of my stuff. Um, and so part of the thing with starting the channel too was maybe, you know, we can, I can grow an audience and a fan base at the same time as writing this. Um, <laughs> Cause we just live in such a cool era now with technology where like, you don't have to have you don't have to have written Harry Potter and have it be a smash hit before you can start sharing stuff. And so, um, yeah, I just I would love to be able to just grow the channel and be able to eventually deliver on the books. And so, with my stories, I am um, I have no other stories. Like I don't have any other like ideas. I don't have any other. Uh, I, like this is the only story that I have right now to tell. And so my thing, I guess, has kind of been if I publish it when I'm 60, then that's when I publish it. If I publish it now, like I, cause I just, I want to tell this story. Yeah. And so I'm just open to whenever that happens. I just want to work on it, keep working on it until it is created, you know? Yeah, of course. That's so yeah. cool, too. And I think, yeah, something that's like that large seems like it would be perfect for self-publishing. Because if you go to tr traditional, they could always be like, oh, no, we're only doing three. And then they mm -hmm. have the rights to something and you can't finish it off. So it totally makes sense. And I love seeing how passionate you are about this story, too. Yeah, yeah. It's well, it's been in my brain for it's like it's just like never ends. It's like every day oh. I'm just like, you're not writing right now. Like you should oh, be writing yeah. on that, you know. <laughs> So yeah. I'm I'm excited about it. I I really love it, and I think it's cool. And yeah, um, I hope I can bring it to people someday. So so exciting, yeah. yeah. There's this quote I love, and it's like the only thing worse than writing is not writing, and it's so true because mm -hmm. you're always like, mm, I'm not doing it, and you're thinking about it in the back of your head. <laughs> yeah, well, and I I'm a big fantasy nerd. I I love Star Wars and uh, Brandon Sanderson. I've been a big Brandon Sanderson kick, reading all his stuff and. Uh, so I just love the epic heroic yeah. stuff. And so um, I just hope that I can add a tale to that list, you know? Ah, yeah. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So where can we find you? Anything you want to shout out? Obviously links will, will be below, but yeah, if we want to hear more about you, yeah. Yeah. The best thing is just um, YouTube. I'm on YouTube the most. Um, I do have some other like Instagram and stuff, but like I'm never on that at all. So sorry, that's just not where I'm at. Um, yeah. So mostly YouTube commenting on stuff. And I also have my emails on the YouTube as well. And so if anyone ever wants to reach out, um, I do have a website as well. It's writingquest.online. Um, and so you can sign up for, uh, I haven't, I haven't started, really started a newsletter, but I'm, working on that so but you can sign up for it so you, you'll get it when it starts coming out Amazing. um yeah so mostly youtube that's the main i'm just kind of focusing on that i've kind of branched out into other social medias and then i'm like yeah i just want to make sure that i want to focus on this one until it's really going so yeah but i've yeah. had pretty much the same experience with it too and not even on instagram <laughs> yeah yeah. You can start driving yourself really crazy when you start getting into all the social media and i'm like i, yeah. I just gotta do you know just this thing. Yeah. It's maybe a, maybe one or two. And then it's like, we want to spend the rest of the time doing the, the fun stuff, doing the writing for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for hopping on everyone. Go check out Brendan's links and uh, yeah, there we go. Have a great one. <laughs>